hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add a comment section on squarespace let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on squarespace i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go squarespace allows you to add a comment section to certain types of content such as blog posts and product pages to engage with their audience and encourage discussions once you're logged into your account i want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see your profile icon click the drop down menu go to your account dashboard and click the website that you wanted to put the comment section in my case i'm going to be choosing this website there's going to be a section here that says edit all right this one i want you to click on it just wait for it to load because it takes a little bit of time now if we wanted to have a comment section on this specific website all right all you have to do is click on the uh, add another section if you want that of course add a blank section or a save section depending on your preferences okay takes a little while now here as you can see there's a lot of options that you can choose from testimonials events um um reviews videos images and of course we're going to use a section for comments but since comments are not uh natively available here we're going to add a blank section you see that that is where we can add another block here we're in as you can see put a button let's uh click the edit section here and the content is going to be common um section all right of course you have the option to attach a link be creative with the design you have the primary button and the uh tertiary button so you can be more uh you have the, all of the option you can fit you can fill so that's uh gonna be up to you all right once you have done that you can drag the comment section as you can see in the center if you wanted to impress people on the your website whenever they visit you might want to put in the comment section here all right after doing so that's one way and for us to be able to see the comments here let me just save that okay so we're going to exit this uh website builder for now and go to the settings that's going to be under the uh, cog icon at the bottom left corner you see that click on it i want you to go to the section where in there's going to be on the website hover down below where you can see the blog preferences you can manage tags rss and other settings for your blog or podcast okay and from here you see in the comments settings you can have the option sort and moderate all you have to do you see that on the comments settings click the enable comments globally you also have the option to allow simple comment likes require approval which is going to be better because you can have more control and you can set review moderation rules similar to that deciding whether to automatically post reviews or approve them first you have all of this on the common sort order you can put in the oldest first to newest most liked and least liked so it's up to you you can auto disable comments default value i'm gonna zoom it in so you can see that when you slide that in the default setting for the number of days to it until auto disabling comments would be up to you i'm gonna prefer i prefer the 69 days and in terms of the comment flags users can flag comments for moderation now the auto moderation automatically sets comments to awaiting moderation after a certain number of flags for example i'm going to be putting in this maybe uh, 13 flags and all i have to do is click on save all right now after saving this section now i want you to hover to the website on this section on the left side panel of your dashboard click website click the pages 
and we're going to choose the blog for example this one we're going to click this one for example one uh blog content we're going to click the uh, three dots icon here and click on settings what will happen is you would be forwarded here We're going to click on the options. You see the comments. All I have to do is click the comments here. Now, if you wanted to disable comments, you're also welcome to do that by clicking on this option. You can put in the uh, comments will be always available for this post. You can choose never or yes, or you have a schedule comments. Disable comments on September 25th. Or you can have a schedule for that, say, for example, uh, September 30th. It's all up to you, all right? After doing so, you would be able to have a comment section on Squarespace while also adding the comments to your Squarespace blog. Alternatively, you can simply use the Discuss platform because Squarespace integrates with Discuss, a third-party commanding platform that provides additional features like user notifications, social login, and more detailed moderation tools. Of course, all you might all you're gonna do is sign up for a free account. I'm gonna click on Get Started, and you have all these options. You can use your Google, your Facebook, your Twitter, Microsoft, and Apple. I'm going to use the Google account which I have associated with my Squarespace. And from here, all you have to do is click on sign up and follow the on-screen prompt. Once you have successfully created your account, you might want to click on the purpose of your sign up. And you would be forwarded to this interface wherein you can be familiar. It's really easy to uh, use because I have done this multiple times in the past. From here, now once you have logged in, go to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon. Click on settings go to the advance and then all i have to do is click this button right here that says get discussed for your site all right click on it and then from here you should be able to integrate discuss for squarespace wherein you are going to have a third-party commenting platform that provides additional features for notifications social login and more detailed moderation tools all right and by doing so of course you can control who can comment whether you require approval before comments are posted and whether to enable spam filters you can always set up notifications so you are alerted when new comments are posted like this one because the comment section encourages visitors to share their thoughts, feedback, and questions, making your website more interactive because engaged audiences are more likely to return, browse more pages, and spend more time on your website. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.